And to our update of uh, the Russian-Ukraine war, the European Union has agreed to give Ukraine a large majority of profits generated from frozen Russian assets in order to help Kiev fight back Russia's invasion. The European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen says the proposal could generate three billion this year and the first billion could be released to Ukraine by July. We have more in this report. As the war between Russia and Ukraine rages on, countries and international institutions are socked in and compelled to pick a side in this seemingly never-ending battle. One of the said institutions, the European Union has announced another set of aid to Ukraine, but this time from an unlikely and definitely an unwilling source. We must continue to support Ukraine's efforts to fight back on the battlefield. So I'm glad that leaders endorsed our proposal to use the extraordinary revenues from immobilized Russian assets. This will provide funding for military equipment to Ukraine. We can expect to collect around 3 billion euros for 2024 and similar amounts in the future years. The European Commission president also revealed that the EU is looking at increasing tariffs on Russian grain, including stolen Ukrainian grain, entering into the EU markets. We have prepared a proposal to increase tariffs on Russian and Belarusian imports of cereals, oil seeds and derived products. And there are several good reasons for making this proposal. It will prevent Russian grain from destabilizing the EU market in these products. It will stop Russia from using the revenues from the export of these goods to the European Union. And it will ensure that illegal Russian exports of stolen Ukrainian grain. The European Union has also called for an immediate humanitarian pause in Gaza and has once again asked parties involved in the war to seek a peaceful resolution. Full, rapid, safe and unhindered humanitarian access into Gaza via all routes is essential. 500 trucks or equivalent a day need to enter into Gaza on land, air and sea. The European Council specifically endorsed the maritime corridor from Cyprus to Gaza to deliver additional volumes. And we urge the Israeli government not to undertake a ground operation in Rafah. At their summit, EU leaders gave a further boost to bids by Ukraine and Moldova to become members of the bloc, agreeing to ask the Commission to swiftly adopt the negotiation framework without delay.